So one day at TKS, we were talking about alternative energy, and somebody mentioned that one of the biggest impediments to having solar panels on Earth was the fact that uh, light, you know, it, it, things like night happen and clouds and all that good stuff. So one of the theories was to put solar panels in space. But the only way to get the power from those solar panels back to Earth would be through transmitting that electricity wirelessly, which really got me thinking. So I started thinking about some other applications where being able to charge something without wires might be really practical and really necessary. Uh, and so I started thinking about things like medical devices, things inside your body that you can't plug in because that's a major source of infection and it limits your mobility. So things like a pacemaker that have to be changed every decade. What if we could charge that wirelessly in the background? And so that's why I really started looking at wireless electricity transfer. And there's a bunch of different methods uh, to transfer electricity without wires, but there's one particular method that I think is really cool that I think is going to have a particularly big impact on the next 5, 10, 20 years. Uh, and that is uh, electricity transfer via radio frequency waves. So basically how it works is think about it this way. Uh, your Wi-Fi router, uh, cell phone towers, TV stations, radio stations, they all emit a radio frequency signal. Basically that signal is emitted, then using the antenna, it picks up that signal and instead of converting that signal, which is an electrical signal, into sound, into a picture, any of that good stuff, it keeps it as electricity and using a rectifier, it's converted back into direct current electricity, which is what powers all your devices and things. So I thought that was particularly cool and it has a particularly um, it's going to have a big impact on where we go in the future. So, a few of the applications that I think we can use this technology in. Uh, in your phones, most phones already have an FM radio chip in them. If we can equip your phone so we can use those, that type of technology to be able to charge your phone as you're moving around your day, so it's picking up those signals that your phone already has to pick up to be able to send calls and texts and stuff, that would be pretty cool and it would extend the battery lives of phones by a long amount of time and it would mean that you would never have to worry about running out of battery on your phone again which I think is pretty cool and pretty revolutionary. Next thing I was looking at was in terms of industrial applications. So especially when you're talking about things like uh, oil production, you're talking about factories, all these things where you need a lot of uh, connected sensors and things connected to the internet, they only power to make that happen. And the reason our efforts were a really good uh, practical application for this is because these devices are in a lot of spread out locations It might not be practical to plug them in. Uh, you have energy constantly charging these devices. You don't have to worry about replacing batteries, so it's more reliable that way. And it's also cheaper because you're harnessing the energy that is already all around us for a lot of these really low powered devices. The field where I think it's going to have an especially big impact uh, is going to be in agriculture. So in agriculture, the ability of IoT to transform uh, a pretty old industry I think is going to be immense. And I think it's going to be really cool when we're able to look at things like soil temperature, soil moisture, soil acidity, uh, all these types of factors to increase our yields. And we can use that by connecting all of these devices using wireless power transfer. So instead of having to hook these things up to a grid or manage batteries, these things are always connected using radio frequencies which are already all around us and are being emitted anyway. So why not use something that's already there? So on the left, you see a chip. It's called the Indra chip. On the right, you see a dime. The reason I put that there is because the Indra chip is made by a company called Nikola Labs out of Columbus. And what they're building is a chip that will convert those radio frequency signals into usable electricity. And it's about a third the size of a dime, or about even smaller than the tip of your pinky finger. So just think about the number of places where you can place that device where we'll be able to harness electricity to power all your devices. So really, you know, things like this, chargers, they're going to be a thing of the past. Thank you.